technology, speed, accuracy, reliability. In the Flexo market since 1997, offering the complete range of Flexo equipment, exposure units, processors, dryers, light finishers, all in one compact units. More than 4,000 satisfied customers worldwide in over 110 countries. 16 years of experience of production of Flexo equipments. ISO 9001-2008 Quality Assurance Certified. Innovative Flexo Tech. This video for conventional solvent wash plate making with a model 3040 ETWD. Exposure units, processors, dryers, light finishers, all in one compact units. Preparation step. Only peel off the cover sheet immediately before giving the relief exposure. When the cover sheet is still on the plate, avoid bending the plate or laying it on an uneven surface. This will prevent any accidents such as the cover sheet splitting, cutting the unexposed plate to avoid accidental plate bending, torsion or stress resulting in raw material waste. The ideal cutting tool is a flatbed operated guillotine with a large table and a sharp blade but slant guillotine must not be used. The plate will be laid flat on the table with the cover sheet side facing down. The blade must first penetrate the base film then the polymer and finally the cover sheet. Preparation Check the negative, quality and graphics. Check unit cleanliness, cleanliness of the vacuum foil and copy board. Set processing times, exposure, washout, post exposure time. Warming up all lamps at least 5 minutes before exposure. Process the plate making process of solid photopolymer plates can be divided into four major steps. During the first one, an image is transferred or copied from a negative film to the plate. This copy is made via the principle of exposing the plate to light through a negative film. This step is commonly called exposure step. The second consists of developing or showing the image built during the exposure. This is made by using solvent that engraves the plate and reveals a relief image. This is the washout step. According to the quantity of solvent used during the washout, the plate will then have to rest for some time to make sure that the solvent absorbed by the polymer during washout is completely evaporated. This is the drying and stabilization time. An after treatment is applied to the plate as a final step. The treatment essentially increases the plate resistance and treats its tacky surface. This is called post-exposure. Production process. Backflash. The backflash or back exposure is the very first step. This is given through the base film in order to create a floor layer or a base that will hold the printing relief images. Main exposure. Face exposure. The main exposure is the copy exposure. In fact, this is the step that builds the printing relief through a negative. The materials affected by UV light will gradually harden until it reaches and binds with the floor created by the back exposure. Wash out. After exposure, the plate is composed of two different chemical structures but still looks the same. The washout process will dissolve and remove unhardened parts of the plate and thus form the plate relief. It reveals the relief by engraving. A chemical solution in combination with mechanical action or brushes will dissolve and remove the raw material of the plate. That is the areas unaffected by UV light. The hardened parts of the plate cannot be dissolved by this means and will thus stay on the plate. During the first seconds of the process, the solution will also dissolve the protective layer of the plate. Drying and Stabilization A drying and stabilization time is required after the washout process in order to remove the excess solvent kept within the plate. 
drying and stabilization are a direct consequence of the washout process as after the washout process the plate is swollen by up to 10% of the plate thickness by the solvent from the bath. This excess of solvent must be removed in order to get the original plate thickness back. The plate will be dried with hot air at 60 degrees centigrade for a certain time from 1 to 4 hours depending on plate thickness and on solvent. The drying process will remove most of the solvent. The last residues evaporate during a resting period or stabilization of at least 8 hours. Higher drying air over 70 degrees centigrade is not acceptable because of shrinking of base film or PET. Post exposure and light finishing. The post exposure process is the final step of the plate making process. Preparing the plate to go to press. The post exposure is divided into two steps. CL post exposure with UVA. A last short exposure to UV lamps. The same type of lamps as used for exposure. This will fix the plate in its final chemical structure, giving it more strength, more resistance and the final plate hardness to go to the press room. At this time, the plate is technically able to print but is still affected by tackiness on its surface. Anti-tack GL light finishing UVC